princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Chateau Labillotte wine lip tints. These wine lip tints were really really tempting for me because I think that the packaging is unusual but also super super cute. Obviously they are shaped like miniature wine bottles and I have actually reviewed the wine bottle nail polish previously. I wasn't super impressed by the nail polish because the way that the packaging was shaped made it hard to apply but of course these are lip tints and so it is a little bit different i don't have the same problems of having so much product actually running down the, to the base of the wand and they work really nicely i think they are super cute and i think because of their shape they would make a really really cute gift idea so i thought it was well worth me talking about them so the product description says a long-lasting lip tint containing extracts from France premium wine for stronger moisturizing and covering effect. The wine tint helps maintain a moist shiny gloss with the deep wine color. Obviously the packaging is so pretty, it is shaped like a wine bottle. The bottle really is the appeal for the product for many people, but I like that the tops of the wine bottles are actually the colour of the tint inside. Since the rest of the bottle is identical, it makes it a lot easier to grab the shades that you want. There are six shades in the collection. The shades don't have a consistent formula. There are two super pigmented shades, two moderately pigmented shades, and two sheerer shades, which I found slightly odd. However, the colour range is really pretty, and most shades will be quite wearable for most skin tones. I enjoy wearing all of these colours, though my favourite is Nebbiolo Red and my least favourite is Chardonnay Orange, just because I don't wear orange shades very often. OR1 Chardonnay Orange is a vibrant, super pigmented orange. This shade is very bright and pigmented, it looks beautiful on my skin tone, but it's not really a shade that I reach for regularly because it is so bright. This almost looks red from a distance, but it's really a vibrant, mid-toned orange. CR01 Rose Coral is a pretty sheer coral shade. This shade is quite sheer so it mixes with my natural lip colour nicely and I really like the outcome. Since this shade is sheer, it doesn't have the best longevity and it tends to wear off after about 3 hours of wear. PK01 Blush Pink is a sheer baby pink shade. Blush Pink is the other sheer shade, which reminds me a lot of Posy Tint by Benefit. I wear this colour quite a lot because it is quite a natural lip colour for me, but just like Rose Coral, it doesn't have the best longevity. However, it is very pretty. RD301 Shiraz Red is a beautiful classic red shade. This is such a classic colour, and it's another colour that I get quite a lot of wear out of. This is an orange toned red, so it doesn't flatter my teeth very much. This shade is the other super pigmented shade in the collection, so it wears quite nicely. I can wear this shade for up to 6 hours without it fading. RD302 Nebbiolo Red is a pretty berry toned red. This is actually my favourite shade in the collection. I really like the berry tone, and since it's neither super pigmented or super sheer, it doesn't look too intense, and it also doesn't fade quickly and require too many touch-ups. All of these shades dry down matte and mostly smudge-proof too, but they're not drying. RD302 Mellow Burgundy is a semi-sheer burgundy shade. This shade is really pretty, but I think I would have liked it more if it was more pigmented. I find that the shade looks a little wishy-washy being a semi-sheer formula, it almost looks a little bit uneven. It still looks good, but it's not my favourite. So I love that these lip tints have adorable and functional packaging. They have a cute colour range, they are easy to apply and reapply, and they dry down to be matte and smudge proof, but they are not too drying. I don't love that they are moderately expensive at 10 US dollars each. They have an inconsistent formula, and they have an inconsistent lasting power. Some last for about 3 hours, and some last for well over 6 depending on their pigmentation. These wine lip tints are super cute, but there are 3 different formulas, which means there are 3 different lasting powers and 3 different finishes for them. In general, these lip tints are easy to apply, dry down matte, and look really pretty on the lips, all while being shaped in an adorable bottle. However, it does make it difficult when they have inconsistent formulas because some of these are going to last a very long time 
some of them are not. Some of them you will get a full lip colour and some of them will be sheer and you can see your own lip colour throughout the bottom. So it's really hard to recommend the entire range because if someone wants really pigmented lip colours, they're only going to get two. If someone only likes sheer lip colours, they're only going to get two. It just makes it quite hard because what if you've wanted a really pigmented baby pink and a really sheer orange? You can't get that from this range. All in all, I think that the cute packaging makes this product worthwhile. However, I do wish that it was consistent in the formula, the pigmentation and the lasting power because it would be much easier to recommend and they would make much better gifts for people as well if you knew what they liked if the formulas were consistent. So I would recommend the Chateau La Biot wine lip tints to any princesses who are looking for lip tints in super cute wine bottle shaped packaging. Thank you guys so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. Bye!